Welcome back to Sunshine Haze Co. I am Aja A. This is Citrus, who thinks that my notebook is her bed. You can lay on that one for now. For now. She is so mad because she was asleep on my chair. But girl, like this is this is my chair, girl. Okay. <laughs> she said, listen, y'all do y'all's thing. I'm going back to sleep. All right, guys, I am here to give y'all the last new moon video of 2022 we made it 2022 was 2022 was something else wasn't it? it it was something else like i don't i don't even have words but we we made it we're almost done with the year happy new year in advance um congratulations <laughs> on making it through the trenches because we're still in a pandemic um People are still trying to get their lives back together from having them just take pulled out from underneath them back in 2020. So pat y'all selves on the back, give yourselves a high five, take a shot, smoke a bleezy, whatever it is that you feel like you need to do to celebrate, do that. It is it is definitely deserved. Um, with that being said, this is the Capricorn New Moon video. This is actually a super moon. So we are um, we're starting the year. I'm sorry, we're ending the look at that. Straight like that, we are ending the year. Sorry, sorry. We are ending the year just like we started. And I just wanted to make sure I was correct. I'm like, I'm pretty sure we started with the super moon. We started the year with a Capricorn super new moon. So with that being said, it's kind of like we get a little bit of an extra push, a little bit of an extra sprinkle of magic on all of the things that we were manifesting at the start of this year. Um, and I know it has been 365 or three. I don't think, I don't think this year was a leap year. Um, it's been 365. So you might be like, well, I don't know what I was thinking about back when we started this new year, but if you write down things like I do, um, if you are living in 2022, you probably have video or pictures or text messages, something to document. Just take a look back at the things that you were thinking about and speaking about and trying to bring into existence. And then also look at the work you put into it over the year and then realize that this was also Capricorn energy. So for a lot of you, um, and I can, I can attest to this, uh, being a rising Capricorn myself, um, a lot of us this year put work into things and it really seemed like we were not seeing a return on our efforts. But Capricorn is earth, y'all. Capricorn is all about their business and making sure that things are, and you know, people that I don't necessarily believe in the concept of perfection, but Capricorn is about as close to it as you can get. So even if you felt like things weren't shaking and moving, understand it's slow and steady wins the race. This is definitely tortoise energy, even though, you know, Capricorn is uh, is the goat, is tor tortoise energy. <laughs> Not Taurus, tortoise. Slow and steady win wins the race, giving careful consideration um, and authority and just a solid foundation to all the things that we were manifesting. So we're circling back around as we wrap the year up and getting, a, like I said, a little extra sprinkle of magic with the double Capricorn new moon starting and ending the year with it. And we typically have one moon every year that happens twice. Um, and so for this year, it's the Capricorn new moon. And it is also a Capricorn super moon. So we got that amplified energy. So even if you didn't feel like you saw anything happening this year, understand that the work you were putting in paired with the super new moon energy oh baby come 2023 as you make it as you move throughout the year in 2023 you're going to start to see not, i'm not even going to say start you're going to see the return on your efforts and it's going to continue to be abundant setting yourself up for success that's big capricorn energy okay um and that is not necessarily what this move girl this is my this is my desk this is my desk i could bump my desk um, setting yourself up. Ooh, yeah, you are getting a bath tonight, citrus. That's what you get for always trying to lay in my plants because your paws is dirty, girl. Sleep it up. Enjoy this because you're going to be pissed in about two hours. Um, okay, so let's get into what this Capricorn Super New Moon is all about. Um, just to give you guys a brief on the new moon. New moons happen when the moon is in conjunction with the sun, when it's lined up with the sun. So it appears in the sky as if it's not there, um, but it's there. Um, the energy for us is new beginnings, a fresh start, feeling refreshed, anticipation, um, new cycles, new chapters. Um, there's also a little bit of mystery given that we don't have the illumination that we typically get with the full moons, okay? Um, excuse me. Capricorn energy, as I mentioned earlier, business-minded, organized. Capricorn is Earth. Capricorn is very diligent. Um, 
what else do I got here for Capricorn? Organized, practical, ambitious. On the shadow side, Capricorn can be kind of stubborn, emotionally detached as well, and um, pessimistic. And for those of you guys that have Capricorn people in your lives or Capricorn placements in your chart, you probably know this one to be true. Capricorns are hard to please, okay? So that's on the shadow side. Um, those are general energies that'll be coming in with this moon, but I'm going to speak to the aspects here in a second. Um, this is the cardinal winter moon, so although we're wrapping up the year, the calendar year, we're starting the winter season. Cardinal signs start off the seasons, and Capricorn is the cardinal winter sign. So there's this initiative energy. So as we wrap things up, and again, I said with that double Capricorn new moon for the year, you're getting, you're, you're starting up again. Um or getting your second start. And I don't even want to say the first start was a false start. That was just that was just the first start, getting all of the, like the first round. You're getting your second start now with all of the knowledge and all of the experience that you gained over this year and you're getting ready to move forward with that, okay? Um, this is happening on December 23rd, uh, 2022. At this time, I am recording this video. My sister has not given birth yet, but... If my nephew is already here, welcome to the world, nephew. I hope you a Capricorn. If you're not here yet, you about to be a Capricorn and it's lit. Um, congratulations to my sister, either early or um, or already. I'm not sure which is which, but either way it rocks. My sister is having another baby and I'm getting me a nephew. We're hoping he's a Capricorn. I have a feeling he might come out as a Sag, but we're hoping he's a Capricorn. I love me some Capricorns, y'all. All my brothers, except for one, are Capricorns. My sister is a Capricorn. I'm a rising Capricorn. My mama got a Capricorn moon. Um, so yeah, oh, I, I'm surrounded by Cap energy and I like it. Um, okay, okay. Going on a tangent, happening on December 23rd uh, in one degree. And so I, I really like when we get transits in one degree because that brings in even more initiative energy more energy of starting something new new chapters um coming into new spaces new energies okay and this is uh happening on a five day so this is very much so like the Sagittarius new moon that we just had but with a different type of energy so last month we had this you know this motivation to move forward and all of this excitement this month we have okay we got it started now is the time for us to get down to business with it and make sure that it stays solid and that we can continue to build upon this and that we see the success that we have been envisioning in our minds for whatever it is that we put in place, okay? Um, all right, let's get into the aspects. So we've got a few aspects with this moon. The first is a conjunction to Venus. We've been having this aspect for the past few new moons. So as you guys know, this is just a very peaceful positive energy this is also heightens our sex appeal or you know the the positivity the good times and the sex the sex capades okay um this also intensifies our emotional connections and our our, our um our feelings about the things that we're passionate about okay um there's a trine to uranus which is uh still in retro yeah uranus is still in retrograde um uranus is the planet of excitement and and um change and unexpected change uranus is associated with aquarius um so with this moon what is that a, a trying to uranus there's change excitement adapting to new spaces and new new places and energies but with a positive flair to it okay some of this stuff will be um and it's funny because we're dealing with capricorn very stable i like habit routine type of energy but this um this trying to Uranus might bring in some changes that you didn't expect, but they will be beneficial to you, okay? Um, <clears throat> so anticipation. Um, and this is also a time in which you your intuition will be really popping, so pay attention to it. Uh, Uranus is one of those intuitive planets as well. There's a quincunx to Mars, which is now in retrograde. Um, this brings in right place, right time type of energy, okay? Um, there's also a little bit of aggression, but with this, with this type of energy, it, the aggression is more so a going for what I want and not taking no as my answer. I am one of, I have several phrases, several sayings. One of them is like, no is never the answer. Like there's always, like you can always figure out the yes. Um, so if you're told no, or if you figure out or you try something and you're getting a no or a halt there, that's not the end all be all. You can figure out how to get to the yes that you're seeking out. And that's kind of the energy that Mars brings in. It's like, I came here with the reason, I came here with the purpose, 
and I'm not leaving until I fulfill said purpose. And I don't care whether you tell me yes or no, it's yes for me and I'm gonna make that happen. And that's the energy that Mars is bringing in with this, uh, what is that, a quincunx. Um, also this, this heightened sex appeal. So feeling more sexy, putting ourselves out there, maybe uh, changing up your physical appearance as well, being a, more confident in the bedroom. For those of you where it's been quiet, you're gonna be, uh, especially with the conjunction to Venus, um, you can definitely expect some some sexcapades, okay? And with this being a Capricorn new moon, you might be getting into the sheets with somebody that you can be in a long-term relationship or situation ship type of thing with, okay? Okay, last aspect I got here is a quintile to Neptune, which is no longer in retrograde. Um, and Neptune governs dreams and, and uh, things beyond the realm. I do associate Neptune with spirituality as well and psychism and psychic gifts, spiritual gifts, okay? Um, so with this aspect, this is using your creative abilities to find or to do work or to create success in the work that you do. Um, so for instance, if you're a writer like myself, you might be booking some more gigs with your writing. If say you work in a, a I don't, I don't know, what's, what, say you're a scientist, I don't know, say you're a scientist, you might come up with some new type of creative way to take notes. I don't know, and it'll, it'll turn out to be really successful for you and it might turn into something that everybody ends up using. That was just an example. Um... Okay, um, this is also an aspect uh, that gives a little bit of a, a, what is the word I'm looking for? I don't know what word I was looking for, but pay attention to your dreams. This is a time when dreams may be very vivid, um, very, seem very real. Um, there's also going to be messages in there for you, probably uh, that have a lot to do with the success that you're working toward in your waking life. Um anything else about I had something else but I guess it's not that important because it it left my brain and that's all I got for the aspect so as far as rituals are concerned this is a new moon it's a Capricorn super new moon um but I'm still gonna keep uh, actually no I'm not gonna keep it all the way cute I do bigger rituals around my moons and my moons are Cancer and Capricorn I'm a Cancer sun and moon and a Capricorn rising so this is one of my moons so what I will be doing is um I will more than likely bury all of my crystals in some soil. Um, I'm gonna go through, around this time, I do like to shuffle and cleanse all of my tarot and oracle decks. Um, general new moon things, I'll do my new moon intentions in my new moon journal, which I don't use for anything else. I like to write in the colors. I like to incorporate the energies of the moon that I'm working with. So I'll be writing in either like a dark blue or a dark green Capricorn colors. Um, as far as scents are concerned, I like to work with smells uh, for the elements, so earthy scents. So I'll probably burn some some Palo Santo or something, um, something woodsy. Uh, stones, Capricorn garnet, <laughs> so off the top of my head, work with some garnet. Um, aragonite, snowflake obsidian, snow quartz. I'm not really sure what that last, oh, jet. Why did I make my J like that? That's actually kind of a cute J, but it looks like a Q, and so that threw me off. Um, I said colors, I did fragrances, um, stones. What am I missing, you guys? Greens and blues. Oh, actually working with the element. Um, go outside, put your feet in some grass. If you can, if it's warm, or if you could fade the cold and not get sick, go do some meditations or some yoga outside. Go take a walk on a trail, be one with the earth. Um, give some gratitude to the earth that we are living on um anything else anything else for the rituals that's about it i know i said i make it do a lot more but it, it it takes a lot more like everything that i just said was not that much but it takes a lot of time to do all that stuff with all of my spiritual tools um go hug a tree <laughs> i don't this is so random that is a, that is a way you can connect with the earth element but that's like i feel like i'm doing a tarot reading right now like i'm <laughs> I'm literally just talking to you guys about the moon. I'm not. This is not a. This is not a channel reading. I don't know why that's coming through like that. So for those of you watching this, it might be beneficial to you to go hug a tree. And I'm. I don't know why I'm acting like that's so weird. It's not weird. I hug trees, but the way that that came into my brain was 
just random. It wasn't random, but the way that it was so intense <laughs> in my brain was random as hell. But um, okay, sorry, citrus. Um, that's all I got from the rituals. Uh, to break it back down, this we're getting a, a little extra sprinkling of magic, uh, amplifying all of the things that we have been working toward um, so that we can, one, get back down to business on them and have our second start with them to really bring in the success that we've manifested for ourselves, okay? People that are going to be the most affected by this moon are people with a lot of Capricorn placements or prominent Capricorn placements, um, a lot of... Tenth house, I don't know what I was thinking. I was gonna say 12th house, but I knew that was wrong. A lot of 10th house energy or 10th house placements, lots of stuff happening in your 10th house or aspects being made to it. Um, Cardinal, Capricorn, Cancer, Libra, Aries, placements in your chart and people with a lot of one degree placements or within the orb or wherever these placements occur in your chart, you'll probably see some changes. Just take a look at your, uh, take a look at your personal chart and also take a look at the current transits. You can learn, there's a whole bunch of free apps out there. I like, uh, I use Time Nomad myself as my, my personal go-to um the free version um but there's a whole bunch of uh let's say maps out there but your natal chart is, is technically a map too in your god you're so judgy um a whole bunch of apps out there that can give you the transits lined up with your chart so you can kind of get an idea of what you might be experiencing with this capricorn new moon i'm going to wrap this video up because i really feel like i am doing a tarot reading but i'm not and i'm wondering if that means i need to go pull some cards for myself um so yeah happy new year you guys happy birthday to all of the capricorns happy birthday to <laughs> gotta run it down you guys to my brothers naeem nasir and q to my sister ayana maybe to my nephew welcome to the world am i missing anybody oh to my stepmom and i feel like that's it i think that's all the capricorns in my family and happy half birthday to me because my half birthday is on the 29th <laughs> okay guys thank you for tuning in again congratulations on making it through this year thank you for staying tuned in with sunshine haze co um especially to those of you that have been with me for years or that i've picked up over the years thank you for still tuning in i know this year was a little slow as far as content goes but for those of you guys that know me you know i'm in my saturn return so it's, it's been up and down over here but i i am definitely back in to a space in which I am giving Sunshine Haze Co. a lot more time and a lot more effort um, because this is one of my businesses, you know? Um, yes, yeah, so congratulations on making it through the year. Happy New Year. Um, peace and blessings and all of the things to you guys. And I will catch y'all in a couple of weeks or a couple of days. I don't know what I've got scheduled at this moment, but all of the good things to you. Um, live your best life and do what you want when you pop in. Peace.